Okay, I'm Howard Jackson from Open Door Multimedia and today I'm talking to Kate McAleer from the North of England Civic Trust. So what's going on today, Kate? Today we are having a horse logging training day. It's part of the Heritage Skills Initiative, which is run by the North England Civic Trust. George Reed is the professional horse logger who's taking six of our participants on the day. Right. And you say he's a professional horse logger, so what does that actually mean in real life? Well, behind us, the, the fell in the logs, the, the logs get cut down and then he with his horses pulls the logs to the correct sort of stacking uh -huh. and he looks well on it yeah he does yeah we're not sure how old he is yeah. but he's been working over 50 yeah. years so. so my guess is 65 70 yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're fitting well fitting okay. well it would do good and so today is it part of a program that you do it is part of the heritage skills initiative which is run by the north england civic trust and what does it include? In last month we had coppicing at mm -hmm. Brantwood and next week we'll be having lime plastering, lime pointing. We have all so from rag rug making, weaving, all kinds of heritage right. skills. Okay. And how do you put your programme together? What? Why do you include certain things? Well, I mean, it's, it's through the way we've got to know a lot of people have approached us which is always good and then we get out and about and just find out what people do we came mm -hmm. to Brantwood just to have a chat with them and then it turns out they wanted us to get involved with horse logging which is excellent yeah. so so the horses that we're seeing today aren't as big as i expected no they're not that apparently they need to be a lot shorter and stockier i mean i'm learning on the day as well yeah, so it's always right. good for me because i get to learn so many different skills and training mm -hmm. myself but yeah apparently they need to be a little sh shorter and stocky right. to pull all the logs yeah and strong with it yeah because it looks, yeah, a, it looks a tough game really it's, oh no yeah uh, it's okay when it's smooth ground but when they get when the logs get stuck it's yeah uh, and the heavier they get and if they've got any little nooks and crannies on them yeah. they get caught in the ground yeah, it's yeah. horse work <laughs> well here we are just above brantwood uh, the home of john ruskin uh, working with horses it's a fantastic environment here in the woodland you may wonder why would a blue badge guide want to be working in woodland well i'm a, a farmer's daughter and my father worked with horses all of his farming life, as did my ancestors before him. Uh, they were blacksmiths as well. So I wanted to experience working with horses. We're very fortunate that we're here with George Reed. George Reed has been showing us all the aspects of horse logging today with his apprentice, his apprentice Dan. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm apprentice to George Reed, who we've been working with today, um, who I met a couple of years ago. I've been um, moving into, gradually moving into woodland management over the past five or ten years. Yeah. I've been working outside doing conservation based work for 20, 25 years now. The apprenticeship scheme is supposed to be three years, right. but because of my previous experience in woodland management and forestry, they've uh, compressed it into two years. Well, it's been a great day today. I've, I've enjoyed watching, and like you say, it's a chance yeah. to learn very quickly. Yes, it on, is. Yeah. On the hoof. Yeah. <laughs> literally. So, uh, brilliant, and I, I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Sam. Yeah.